Hey everyone, welcome to 601 Travels, where we tell you the good, the bad, and the points of interest of your favorite cities. We do town tours, highway drives, and lists just like this one. Please be sure to click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you won't miss a future upload. Here's our list of the top 10 reasons you should not move to Anchorage, Alaska. Number 10. Substances. Many people who live in Anchorage seem to enjoy kicking back and doing a little drinking. Alaska is the national leader in the per capita consumption stats that are well above national average. It's reported that 38% of Alaskan men binge drink while 13% of their women counterparts do as well. Alaska also leads the nation for the highest use per capita with controlled substance, which contributes to the state's money laundering and drug trafficking problems. Drinking issues are so serious that if you get a DUI for your first time, you'll face at least 72 hours in jail and a $1,500 fine. If you have a problem with any of these substances, Alaska may be more of a problem than a solution for you. Number nine, isolation. Do you have friends, more specifically, that live in the lower 48 states? Living in Anchorage puts you very far away from other Americans. And unless you have some Canadian friends, you'll have to travel a long way to get where you need to go. It's about a 10 day drive to Seattle, the closest large city in the US. Not that you'd probably want to go to Seattle, it's still over 2,000 miles away. Hopefully you don't leave any friends behind in New York. That's over 4,000 miles away and about a 15 hour plane ride if you needed to get there. That's a far distance. Making friends in Anchorage or other villages in the state might help keep you busy if you can't make the trip. Number eight, extreme weather. Anchorage, Alaska gets an average of 79 inches of snow per year, which is about the same somehow as Burlington, Vermont. That's still a lot of snow though. I think it's just the extreme cold temperatures that make it seem a lot worse than it really is. July is the hottest month of the year there with an average high of about 58 degrees, but the average high during December is only 18 degrees. That's a high. The lows during the winter months can range anywhere from negative 18 to negative 30 degrees. If you aren't used to the cold weather, these temperatures take a huge adjustment. Even if you are used to the cold, these are extreme and very different than a New England winter. Number seven, earthquakes. Anchorage experienced an earthquake back in November of 2018 that was a magnitude of 7.1. Alaska in general is the most seismically active state with over 20,000 earthquakes reported each year. On average, there's one of a magnitude of seven or greater once every one to two years and a magnitude of eight or greater every 13 years. Often the earthquakes that occur are on the smaller side, but they still exist, happen, and affect people's lives. It's not just California that has to deal with them. Alaska sits on top of tectonic plates and crustal blocks that are constantly moving. You might not expect them initially at first, but Anchorage has gotten them before and will get them again in the future. Number six, darkness. Due to the location of Anchorage on the globe, you can expect to have long, dark hours during the winter season. During the winter solstice, the city only gets about 5 hours of sunshine. Rising at 10.15 am and setting at 3.45 pm, there are other cities in northern Alaska that don't see the sun for over 60 days, so it could be worse. Some people need the sunlight to feel awake, alive, and motivated. The winter is Definitely not the time of year you want to be there if this is you. During the summer, you'll need blackout curtains to sleep as there is so much sunshine that lasts well into the night. So that's the trade-off if you can make it through the cold, dark winters. Number five, housing. 
Anchorage is cold and it's advised you have some kind of indoor shelter to live in. On average, houses there cost around $389,000 and they don't stay on the market long, usually about three weeks before they're put under contract and sold. At the time of creating this video, there were 821 homes listed for sale, which included 267 condos. Many houses are sold within days with very little haggling and negotiations. On a $275,000 house, you can expect to pay between $4,500 to $5,000 per year in property taxes alone. Condos and apartments are more affordable for the most part with lower annual taxes, but often have high HOA fees that include things like snow removal and grounds maintenance. Living outside the city to save on housing costs is an option, but you'll likely encounter other problems like bad roads and bears. Number four, living expenses. Everything in Anchorage is more expensive than if you lived in the lower 48 states. In fact, it's about 23.5% more expensive. Everything that is there has to get there somehow, and all the transportation and logistics are factored into the cost of goods. For example, you can expect to pay prices like $7.39 for cereal, $18.79 for sugar, $19.29 for laundry detergent, $10 for a gallon of milk, $16.45 for a frozen pizza, $8 subway footlongs, $6.19 for a gallon of water. The list goes on and on. The average income for an individual here is $36,000 and a decent apartment can be had for around $1,000. Living in Anchorage is expensive and prices of goods keep going up while the need for supply keeps going up as well. Number three, wildlife. It's no secret that Alaska is full of wild animals, bears being the main problem you'll have to face. That also applies to cities like Anchorage that surround the vast wilderness. According to an Alaskan report, between 2000 and 2017, there were 66 reported bear attacks while 10 people lost their lives and the rest received injuries. While the number might be low, the stats are still there that show you have to be vigilant while getting around the city or going to state parks and recreational areas. There are many animals you'll have the chance to encounter aside from bears, including mega moose, whales, goats, sheep, wolves, and bald eagles. Due to the unpredictable nature of these animals individually, you should always exercise caution while being around them. Number two, no entertainment. I'm not saying that there are never any concerts or performances happening in Anchorage, but they are very few and far between. In recent years, Ja Rule, Wu-Tang Clan, and Alan Jackson have headlined dates here, but you don't regularly see any big names strolling through. Why? Maybe it's too cold, customs, outstanding warrants. It might also be the costs associated with travel, getting all the production there, lodging, making other dates. Many national touring acts skip right over the idea of making a stop in Anchorage because of the hassle of getting there. So Anchorage loses, both the experience and revenue that it would bring. If you enjoy going to big concerts often, you'll definitely notice how many you'll be missing out on. Number one, bad for small businesses. In many states in the country, starting some type of business that includes selling goods or services is as simple as just reporting it at the end of the year on your taxes or receiving a 1099. No matter what type of business you start in Anchorage, you'll be required to have an official State of Alaska business license. You might also require to obtain any special permits or municipal business license depending on your industry. This makes it hard for anyone trying to put together a simple startup or trying out new ideas because it's an extra step. You will have to factor in. For most who are serious and committed, this might not be a huge deal, but for those who are just testing the waters, it's a total hassle. All right, everyone, that'll do for today's video. Do you live in or love Anchorage? Maybe you hate it. While you're still here, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. That makes us really happy. 
Thank you so much for watching. Bye, y'all.